Hey folks, I uh, want to take a little time here um, and talk to you about lure. Uh, in particular, one of my lures, uh, ring burner. I, one of the probably most common questions I get when I'm at conventions and shows is uh, trappers will come up to me and ask me, uh, which lure would you recommend if you could only recommend one? Um, and, or, or which is your favorite lure? And I, I'm brutally honest, which a lot of lure makers may not be, but uh, I usually recommend Ring Burner because it is a very solid lure, it has a decent amount of calling power, um, and it, it's it's a multi-species lure. I mean, guys have really found that it, it's working well for Fisher, um, Fox and Coyote, what it's designed for, um, it works great on. Um, but I found it's it's an excellent raccoon lure and I wish it wasn't so good at, at catching raccoons because I don't really enjoy catching raccoons on my fox line they can really mess a set up big time but uh, ring burner definitely holds some attraction big time attraction to raccoons so uh, yeah that's that's probably the lure I recommend the most uh, especially you know the people who just just want to set traps and catch animals is, is ring burner is very solid and it, it's a very good multi-species lure um, you know to two lures in my lineup reckless abandon and body count um, they're much more canine specific lures they're milder um, they're they're two lures that I, I, I don't I hate to use the term professional lures but I don't know exactly how else to to uh, classify them but uh, the, the number one thing about those two products I make the reckless abandon and the body count are that they do not catch uh, a lot of non canines uh, they, they, they don't catch very many raccoons skunks possums um, they're very canine specific um, so I, uh, you know, and that's one thing, you know, talk about, I like to pair lures, everybody pretty much double sets, you know, for canines, and I'll a lot of times pair uh, my ring burner with my body count, or my new wreaking havoc with uh, reckless abandon, um, but, you know, wreaking havoc and ring burner are both uh, semi-loud, wreaking havoc's very loud, actually. Um, and I'll usually put them in the upwind set and uh, the milder lures go in the the downwind set and I don't do that you read books and you'll hear trappers talk about oh I, I want to use a milder lure early season um, you know I don't want to burn their nose out I don't that's not the reason I do it um, that that second set is with that very very mild lure is uh, it just eliminates my chances of catching um, things I don't want, like at raccoons, skunks, and, oppos and possums. So, and a lot of times uh, I will I will remake with body count or reckless abandon, because um, once you have a fox caught, the last thing you want is to catch a raccoon or a skunk there and dig everything up and totally totally mess that circle up. Um, the key to catching red fox is to catch red fox and have those circles, those good working circles that they just keep coming to um, if you're in red fox country where you have any type of population. Um, so that's just a little, you know, I just thought I'd talk a little bit about it. I, I you know, went to a bunch of shows this year and had some questions on, uh, you know, my lures. And, you know, though, you know, with the exception of the gland lures and the post paste is a specialty type lure, more or less. But... Uh, you know, the four uh, standbys that I could say that I use most of the time be Ring Burner, Body Count, um, Wreaking Havoc, and the Reckless Abandon. And, and the, the Wreaking Havoc, Havoc is a phenomenal, phenomenal call lure. Uh, but it, it's uh, one of them that it's a trapper's dream, but a lure maker's nightmare. It takes long to make, it's hard to make, um, and the ingredients are not readily available in bulk uh, so it like I said it's a it's a lure makers nightmare um, and that's you know I was cautioned by 
very intelligent people in this trapping industry about buying lure formulas because you you could buy a formula that's exactly that um, you, you can't get some of the ingredients it's uh, very time consuming to make um, it takes long for you know certain parts of the lure to become you know ready to use um, so yeah if uh, anybody ever buys TS trap line I'll tell you right now you're you're not gonna you're gonna love trapping with the wreaking havoc uh, you're gonna hate making it and and selling it commercially, but those are my those are my four, um, you know, two stronger colors, two milder lures that are very species specific and are great for remakes. And I'm I'm a big proponent on Red Fox remakes pr preserving those circles. Um, now you know, like I said, the the ring burner is a lot of fisher trappers are just it, I. I I'm not a fisher trapper, um, but but I've turned into a fisher lure maker from all the people that bought my ring burner using it on canines and just uh, have such high, high faith in it for fisher attraction. It's not a strong, a real strong call lure like you'd think of of a skunky fisher lure. There's a little bit of skunk in it. Um, but but it's uh, the whole purpose of this video, and I thought I'd just sit here and talk a little bit while I took the time to set the camera up is uh, how good my ring burner really is for raccoons and and I knew it caught a lot of raccoons uh, I know of an instance a season ago or two ago I don't even they don't blend together but um, I was checking traps and I ran a raccoon off of a set um, I thought he was in the trap and pulled up and he hadn't been caught yet he was just checking the setup that was maybe nine in the morning um, not, not, you know, it was, it was plenty light out. The sun had come up for a while. Uh, and I ran him off, you know, going to check that set. And the next day, uh, I had that raccoon in the trap. He wanted that ring burner in that hole so bad he, he came back for it. Um, you know, doing a little bit of lure, lure testing, you know, over this summer, just to kind of see things I want to try out on my line this year. I tried, I tried, uh, one or two different new ones and they didn't really pan out uh, like I wanted them to. Um, but I, I threw some of my existing lures out there just to get trail cam for just certain certain things, you know, for to put on social media. Um, and you know, that's the other thing as a lure maker is uh, it gets harder as you go because you, you run out of, uh, you, you start, I don't want to say you run out of ideas, but you run out of ideas of something that you can actually make commercially. Um, and you can supply the trapping industry with it. Um, and, and when you have certain lures you've made that are, you, you have that much faith in, um, you, you really don't want to release something that's not at least as good as some of your other lures. And um, I, I, do have, I do have something in the works for this year, but I did test some lures out this summer that I'm, I'm not going to produce. Uh, simply because they, they weren't nearly as good as some of my other lures. Um, I mean, that Reckless Abandon is just, to me, it's it's just phenomenal. It's it's not a hard lure to make, um, very species specific, and the attraction, uh, canine attraction is, is really high, and uh, you know, the, the same with body count, that falls into that category as well. It's not a real, real difficult lure to make, um, but a lot of thought has gone into them, a lot of research. I studied some chemistry and, uh, you know, I kind of took a little bit of out of the playbook of one of my heroes, Russ Carmen. I, I know, you know, he, he looked at chemistry and studied chemistry and, uh, you know, the cons constituents of animal glands and all that. And, and Russ, Russ was a, is a, a very, very, very smart guy. Um, and, you know, I have things at my disposal, which is the internet that, that the old time lore makers didn't have. And, you know, new lore makers, we have the internet to, uh, you know, study things like chemical constituents and animal glands. Um, and we also have trail cameras to see a reaction. Uh, you don't have to uh, read, read kind of into what goes on in a set by looking at tracks or whatever. Um, we, have trail, we have trail cams now. So in a lot of ways, lure makers today to make really premium, you know, top end lures, we, we have it easier than those who came before us. And I, I have a lot of respect for, you know, guys like Russ and Mike Marziata, um, 
Paul Baker, probably the greatest lure businessman that, that ever lived. Uh, and then, you know, some of the Butcher, Daly, um, you know, they were pioneers in the whole thing, Walter Arnold. So, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, like I said, I just kind of wanted to ramble on here and talk to you a little bit about lore. It's been a long time since I made a video. Uh, I hope I didn't bore you too much. Just listen to my thoughts on some things. I will uh, show some video footage of some raccoons working ring burner in, in a dirt hole. Um, yeah, after seeing, I, I knew they liked it. I knew I caught a lot of raccoons on ring burner, but after seeing kind of how they work it, um, I, I think I think guys and girls could use it down dog proof traps, you know, on a on a bait, whether you're using cat or dog food or whatever. Um, and I, I just think it'd be a phenomenal lure to get them to work the set. And um, I I wish some guys would get me. I just don't have a lot of fisher in my area. I wish guys would get me uh, see what fisher actually do to it because guys are catching. Fisher on ring burner uh, left and right but I'll show that video here when I shut the camera off and uh, we will uh, try to think of some more things to make videos on heck if you're watching this and you want me to do a video on something uh, explain something something trap adjustment trap modification anything really sets uh, talk more about lure yeah, make a comment. Put a comment down below on what you would like me to go over. I'm going to do a lot more stuff um, this coming season, this coming trapping season. But, yeah, don't be afraid to just uh, comment what, what you'd like me to see. And, like I said, stay tuned, and I'll show you that raccoon footage of them working ring burner.